So let's do a little uh, exercise together. So we can all okay. we can all do this. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to um, just listen to or feel into your breathing. Just notice how your breath is coming and going out of the body and notice where you have space and where you feel restriction, that sort of thing. So just kind of noticing the breath. And then notice the state of your jaw. Is it tense? Is it relaxed? Is the tongue at the roof of the mouth, the base of the mouth? Okay, now you're gonna do like an old fashioned Kegel where you contract the pelvic floor like you're lifting it up to the fourth floor, I think is what they used to say, right? And really contract the pelvic floor. And now notice what changed from your breathing to any tension in your body, to what you're doing with your mouth, your jaw, muscles in the face, anything like that. And notice if you felt something shift. And then let that go. And then again, reassess your breathing and see what the difference is. Okay, hey, what'd you find out? So when what what so did did you guys notice the how your breath changed? It shifted and became a little bit more congested, right? And restricted. Yeah. So that's how important the pelvic floor is, right? Because if you we, when we breathe and the diaphragm goes down like this, well, so does the pelvic floor. And there should be this relationship between the two of them, like this. And why that's so fascinating, well, there's multiple reasons why that's so fascinating. But so number one is we know that pelvic floor and jaw are directly connected. So we clench the jaw, pelvic floor is tight or chronic pelvic floor tightness creates jaw clenching or teeth grinding. But what's also important about that is that when you contracted your pelvic floor, it changed the way you breathe. And true core stability comes from the ability for both the diaphragm of the, of the, the regular diaphragm and the pelvic floor diaphragm to move in this dance. And so diaphragm is part of core stability, but the problem we have is that we batten down and then it doesn't move. And so we become more unstable. And as we become more unstable, what does the body do? It wants to stabilize somehow. So it usually will go up to the neck and the shoulders. And this gets really tight. So that's why when we first start doing these practices, we're so much focusing on like arch and flatten and things around the pelvis, right? The psoas and all that sort of stuff, side curl, which is down through the side of the hip and into the waist, right? All of that is to get the, the muscles that go around the pelvis and relate to the pelvis to function well, contract and release well. So they create more pelvic stability or what we refer to as forced closure. Therefore, the, everything is more stable. Breathing expands and contracts beautifully at that point. And now we have better core stability. And when the pelvis stabilizes like that, a lot of chronic tension in the body starts to leave. So the pelvic floor is huge. It's huge in the equation of how we find our way back to stability. But then... You know, there's that other piece of it, which is that sort of emotional, spiritual overlay, because we are, as women, like, what do we do? We suck in our guts, right? We have, um, we have often will experience trauma, whether that's through childbirth or sexual trauma. There's always some, there's lots of reasons why the pelvic floor becomes a little bit problematic. And so not only for a lot of women, not only do, do we unwind this, the sensory motor amnesia, the stuff that's keeping us stuck, but we're also unwinding all those energetic blocks that came from like, you know, it's not nice for girls to stick their bellies out, suck your belly in, right? I mean, how many of us grew up learning that? And then it becomes so automatic, we don't even know how to let it go anymore. So it's, an, it's, so it's never, you know, as I said to somebody I was working with today, it's never one part of the body because we're a system. So once we address one part of the system, there's going to be a d -d 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 domino effect through the rest of the system. Right. And that's what we're, and that's, so going through everything you guys are going through all the different levels of learning, that's kind of the idea, right? As we, we hit up all these different aspects of who we are to try and create this change.